What's up everybody, Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today was Sunday, May 29th, 2022. Now we just entered Monday, May 30th, 2022. Yeah, happy Memorial Day. <laughs> Okay, uh, just to let you know, the footage yet again, what you're about to see are scenes of my Poetry Slam. It takes place on two Mondays at the, at the stay-at-home open mic for Monday, uh, May, uh, May 9th, and May 16th for both of them. So, there are two books, once again, uh, The Border Senses and Swans by Mary Oliver. Well, I guess you're about to find out. So, alright, here are the scenes of my Poetry Slam once again. Here it is. Enjoy. But uh, without further ado, it's time once again to bring up Dan the Man at the online mic. What's up, Dan? Go ahead and take it away. All right. Thank you, Richie. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay. Um, yeah. There it is once again. Uh, there it is once again. Um, this will be the last. And... I think I got three poems. I got three poems for Swan by by Mary Oliver. Okay. I got today, page fourteen. Today, today is a day of dark clouds and slow rain. The little blades of corn are so happy. End quote. It is early. Page 17. Uh, hold on. Okay. It is early, still the darkness of the dark, and I already have killed in an exasperation. Two mosquitoes and inadvertently one spider. All the same, the sun will rise in its sweep of pink and red clouds. Not for me does it rise, and not in haste does it rise. But step by step, neither with exas exasperation, nor inadvertently, and not with any intended attention to anything but one thing, but to all like a god. That takes in its instructions from another greater, uh, even greater, whose name even we do not not know, the one that made the mosquito and the spiders, that one made, that made me, as I am, easy, easy to exasperation than Penitent. End quote. Okay. How many days? Page eighteen. How many days? I lived and had never used the holy word. Tenderly I began them when it came to me to want to, oh, mystery and irrefutable. Then I went out. Then I went out of the pla of that place and into a field and lay down among the weeds and the grasses and whispering to them fast in order to keep that world us also. Dancing in Mexico, page 22. Not myself, but Maria, who were, when her work is done, tunes in the radio, goes out into the garden, picks up the front feet of the little dog, Ricky, and dances. She dances. Well. <coughs> Last one from this, the poet dreams of the mountains, 
page 31. Sometimes I grow weary of the days with all their fits and starts. I want to climb some old gray mountain slowly, taking the rest of my lifetime to do it, resting often, sleeping under the pines or above them on the unclosed rocks. I want to see how many stars are still in the sky that we have smothered for years now, at least a century. I want to look back at everything, forgiving it all, and peaceful in knowing that the last thing there is to know, all that urgency, not what the earth is about, how silent the trees uh, in their poetry uh, being of themselves only. I want to take slow steps and think inappropriate thoughts. In 10,000 years, maybe a piece of the mountain will fall. Well, that's uh, Swans, uh, Poetry and Prose Poems by Mary Oliver. And uh, I got one uh, from the Border Census, uh, Spring 2006, Volume 11. Um, Obvious in El Paso by Estela, Estela, Estela Baez, page 55. I am Lethe Ward's completely senseless, spinning slowly, softly, thwarting a tempo, my heart aching, sweatly, like butterscotch, bubbling on an open fire pit for all to see. As I nibble on the vacant places and drunk on barring air, time is like raw opium, Draining, sour, smelling, still hopes as I continue spinning slowly, softly. I am wholly heartless, devoid of promises to offer, dull and sightless, sinking calmly, finally unafraid of sinking desert nightingales. Whoa. Yeah, uh, BorderCenses.com, that was, uh, obviously in El Obvious in El Paso by Estela Baez, page 55, uh, Border Census, uh, yeah, Border Census, uh, Spring 2006, Volume 11. And, you know, uh, a little, a little tough, almost, uh, Almost a walking day in, in downtown in the last Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> um, well, I took the bus from home and uh, I woke good and head downtown. And then I walked from Missouri Avenue, um, Oregon Street to Texas Avenue, walking to Brown Street, the Crass Rhythm Brews. Uh, then I thought it was supposed to be a Cinco de Mayo music fest, but. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh well, but there was no one there, and so I continued walking to the body, uh, to the to the Pronto Body Shop, where my friend Tiffany was working there. I sat down, drank a glass of water, and then I continued walking uh, from the Pronto Body Shop and onward. And then I saw the new uh, Bowbrow Palace that they just moved from Robinson Avenue outside UTEP to Texas Avenue. But, wow. Hm. That's a nice place. I have no idea who the Killer Bees are. Uh, the Killer Bees are the band. Hm. Yeah, I wish it was the GFM band. Hm. I continue walking, entering downtown, uh, going block and block. The district was closed, which I thought was supposed to be closed at 6. But it was. I don't know what happened. It closed early. But I kept walking, and I kept walking, and I went on Mesa Street, and I kept heading north, 
and passing the I-10 and made a stop at the Manor at 10-11 where the City Magazine was holding its uh, May issue release party. That's uh... Yeah. There it is. Okay. Cool, man. Where and can people find you on? <sighs> Hold on. I'm almost done. Almost done. Then okay. after the Manor, I walk south Mesa, headed to the International, where the comedians are playing, Anthony Austin Brown, uh, Adam Dominguez, uh, Anthony Ryan. They were making a perform. They were making a comedy performance. And thanks to Jenny, she Ubered me a ride home. That was the unforgettable 4th of Ju the, the Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to share my... Not really. Oh, come on. Thank you. You can just tell us, man. We don't need the card. Okay, here it is. We didn't weep it. Uh, for those of you who are new here, please screenshot this. All right, find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, page, Facebook. Uh, I'm behind on posts um, on on Twitter and, on, and Facebook, but you can still mostly catch me on Instagram. So. All right, find the other man's weekly on YouTube. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hmm. You know, I've always thought about like uh, Fizz and the Transom, the Walker, and the Proclaimers. I want to walk 500 miles. <laughs> I've been playing those songs while I was walking. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! You gotta have a good playlist, a good walking playlist. Yeah. All right. Thanks okay. for joining us, Dan. <laughs> what? What? You got more announcements? Okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, thanks a lot, Richie, and uh, I'll, I'll try to see you tomorrow at the Mona Bar. All right. Let's go ahead and do your thing, and let's see if we can close out the night. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Uh, with that said, we are going to go ahead and close things up with Dan the Man, Daniel the Manual, but he's so automatic, ready to go. Oh, it's so dark, man. Yeah, I know. Slipping into darkness. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, that would be an intro if I were DJing the show. All right, Dan, go ahead and take it away. It's all you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it short. I'm gonna do one poem for this. I'm gonna do one poetry for this time uh, from the BorderCensus.com, uh, uh, Spring 2006, Volume 11. <laughs> Page 23 uh, by Jeffrey Alfier, courting the diversions. Right, here we go. Courting the diversions. Interrent hawks own these paltry roads, dragging their dry and languid silhouettes over the bone white sulfur of dead lakes. I stop for booze halfway to Death Valley for one more bona fide piss water buzz. Just a five-mile drift off Route 180. Yedra is not a town if I died for. Here, existential blues have to track me down. They're, they're as royal as thorns as are to, to coach whip 
the barmaid swears she's been my she's been my smirk somewhere. May have thrown me out of some dive years back. I saw my beer glass is in denial. Nothing lit up that joint like her laughter. Her gaze was the sweetest fate ever lost. She could shame a ghost uh, back into his tomb. Um, I think she's seen every bit brittle disguise heard every transplant and weak excuse like why drugs would fall, drown in Fresno Canal. I gave her my keys. She said, sleep it off. Spare enough of your eyes to find a bed. Leave nothing but the weight of your shadow. That's uh, Jeffrey Alter. Uh, Al I'm sorry, Alfier. Jeffrey Alfier. According to Diversion, uh, page 23 of uh, the Board of Senses, uh, spring of 2006, volume 11. Awesome. All right. Well, I, okay, I guess that is it for me for right now. Because, uh, Okay, here it is. It's we did it we did. Y'all know what to do. Uh, find me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, like my page on Facebook. Hashtag The Advance Weekly. Find Dan The Advance Weekly on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. For those who forgot, you know what to do. Just, uh, just screenshot this if you have to. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and call it night, Richie. Thank you. I'll see y'all next Monday. All right, thank you, Dan. You know what, man? What, what if I wanted to filibuster the night? You know, what if I just started, uh, started reading? Uh, <laughs> you're like, okay, fine, good idea. Tired. No, appreciate it, Dan. Thank you so much for reading that short and sweet. Shout out to Border Senses, of course. If you didn't okay. know, Border Senses is actually the the nonprofit that we are involved with. We are one of several projects of. Uh, that Border Census offers to our communities here in the border. Um, in addition to Barb Bar Open Mic Series, we have a variety of writing workshops uh, that are different, that are available to different demographics, including Forward, which is intended for students, uh, teens, young college students. Uh, and then we also have Memorias de Silencio, which is offered to migrant workers and families of migrant workers. Um, you know, shout out to the project directors there, uh, John Nels running forward and Daniel Rios, uh, who runs Memorias de Silencio. Uh, we got some things cooked, being cooked up right now at Border Senses, trying to revamp the organization. Uh, we are a literary nonprofit, so if you guys are interested in checking out more, bordercenses.com, although I do believe that's going to be revamped pretty soon as well. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in for another edition of our Stay at Home Open Mic. Shout out to, to everyone who tuned in at some point today. Um, I know these can get kind of late, so it's nice when we can wrap up a little earlier. As always, though, we will keep the Zoom. Okay, and that is scenes of my poetry slam. <laughs> yeah. So uh, on May 9th, uh, yeah, it was the uh, Swans Again by Mary Oliver. Yeah. And here, I, here's a bookmark. It's uh, today, page 14. Yeah. It's uh, Dancing in Mexico, page 22. The Sweetness of Dog, page 23. <laughs> we Cannot Know, page 30. Uh, poet dreams of a mountain, page thirty-one. Yeah, man. Quote. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yep, there are four of them, and I did two of them. One for the border senses, and another one I did for uh, 
for the 20 for the 16th I'll show you what I remember it's um <clears throat> yeah Estela Valles Oblivious in El Paso page 55 and there was another one I know I who was this guy it was Jeff counting according to diversions it's Jeffrey Alfier page 23 so yeah so these are two for the border census and uh, it was very nice that uh, Richie explained about the border census but yeah this is very nice of him so yeah thank you Richie appreciate it yep talking about border census it's nice and then I was walking um, about the for the, the single de Mayo that I was walking that um, I thought it was the uh, single that I thought it was the music fest but no but I went to my friend uh, Tiffany Metafi at the Prana Body Shop <laughs> Yeah, stop there. Then I saw the lowbrow that moved to a new location on Texas Avenue. I never heard of the Killer Bees, the band. <laughs> and then that's why I went to the uh, the City Magazine's uh, May issue release at the Manor at 1011. Yeah, and finally the International, where um, um, where Anthony Austin Brown, Ada Dominguez, and Anthony Ryan, among others. And thank you, Jenny, for giving me a ride. It was nice. Okay, okay. I guess the, that is it for right now. I'll get to the one for the 23rd, plus the scenes of my poetry slam at the at the Old Cheat Dog Brewery last Thursday, and I'll get for the one for later today. So we'll have to wait on that. So we'll get to that. Okay, so uh, first off, thank you, Richie, once again. And to those who were there over the two weeks of the 9th and the 16th. Okay, that is that. Uh, more on B1's The Rest is History. Okay, uh, be aware of my, uh, be aware of my scenes, be aware of my regular blog for Memorial Day, so if you guys do not miss it, okay. Alright guys, I'm out. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man, Tennessee. Signing out.